This is a call for an uprising. We welcome you to today's show and ask those of you who have not subscribed, to please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we continue to expose the satanic Illuminati agenda and the ushering in of the Antichrist. Today's show, I want to talk about yoga. It's part of this great deception that's going on. A lot of people don't even really know what yoga is. They just think it's an exercise. They've never really looked into it, but yoga has been around since before the time that Jesus actually existed here on earth, it's been around for thousands of centuries. And yoga has always been known as something that was spiritual, not physical. It's not a physical workout. But what they've done is they've taken yoga and they've convinced people that it's the way to go as far as exercise and feeling good spiritually. And they've pushed it throughout the media, which is another telltale sign that it is not a good thing. When the media takes over and tells you you should be doing it, which they've done for the last 10 years, telling you that yoga is the best form of exercise you can get, then they put shills on TV like Dr. Oz telling you that yoga is a great form of exercise, yada, yada, yada. Nobody ever ends up looking into it and what it really is and how dangerous performing yoga is as far as spirituality and bringing demonic entities into your body. They just think it's a great way to get a six pack or to stretch their body out when in fact it is not. So let's talk about yoga. For starters, you could look at the basic pose with the hands and the 666 sign. And yes, I know people go, oh, come on. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not what that means. First of all, yes, it is. They're summoning, you're summoning demonic presences when you're performing yoga. It's, it goes back to Hinduism and Buddhism. And now it's a part of this new age deception that they're using. And it's rooted in occult and satanic rituals. For starters, Aleister Crowley. Yes, Aleister Crowley. The well-worshipped Satanists by the current Satanists who love and read his doctrine and talk about him as if he were a god, was deep-rooted in practicing yoga. He spent many years practicing yoga. He even wrote a book called Eight Lectures on Yoga. He used it as a way of spirit, channeling spirits and using it as a form of magic, black magic. For those of you not familiar with Crowley, he is best known for his books on black magic, his books on satanic worship. And he is most known for quotes such as in one of his books talking about performing black magic rituals, saying that a white male child of perfect innocence and intelligence makes the most suitable victim. This is for pedophilia or human sacrifice. This is in one of his books. And you'll see him on the cover of the Beatles album and you'll see him on Jay-Z's shirt, and you'll see these celebrities talking about him and promoting him. But it's okay that he was talking about human sacrifice and pedophilia, and people were allowed, people walk around talking about him like he was a great man and he was misunderstood. He even referred to himself as the beast. So he was practicing yoga, which is just another telltale sign that it is very spiritual and very demonic. But in Hindu practice, the purpose was for the practitioner to open his body for visitations and possessions by outside spiritual entities, also known as demons. Yoga positions in their own right, the positions that are practiced in yoga, are all positions that pay homage to Hindu entities, such as Shiva. The word yoga actually means unity, and it's pushed as becoming you becoming one with the universe, you channeling yourself and becoming your own god. All of this stuff I've been talking about with the Freemasons and how they believe that they're their own gods. This is the new ideology that's being taught with this universal new age practice that you're your own god, the self-empowerment belief. It all ties in together. And yoga is a way of spiritually channeling the universe, but what you're really doing is summoning demonic presences and allowing them to enter into your body. Now, I might mispronounce a word or two here because I am not fluent in yoga language. But the purpose is to produce an awakening of what is known as the kundalini power, quote unquote, which is taught as being a snake coiled around the base of the spine. And when the serpent is awakened, it will then move up through the body, through the chakras. This is also called the life force. And once it reaches the crown chakra, the top of the head, or the third eye, so to speak, in Buddhism and Hinduism, the eye between your two eyes, right above your nose and your forehead area, that is where it's being taught as being a snake coil around the base of the spine, running all the way up into your third eye. 
or what they refer to as the third eye. Many Christians practice yoga, and they think that it is a way of exercising. It is not a way of exercising. They've been practicing this in other religions for centuries as a form of spiritual practice, not as a form of, let me tighten my triceps here, and let me get down into the down dog position, okay? They have used this to summon deities to summon demonic presences that they worship because that's what their religions are based off of. As somebody who believes in Jesus Christ, you should not be practicing this. You are inviting spirits into your body. You're allowing yourself to be put in a vulnerable position, okay, through practicing all of the things that yoga teaches where you can become demonically possessed by allowing yourself to leave your body and something else to enter your body. If you read about yoga, if you study it, which doesn't take long to do, you'll see these things are taught in yoga tradition, going back centuries, thousands of centuries, that when you are in this meditation and in this trance, you're allowing yourself to leave your body so entities can enter your body. And this is what happens. People allow entities to enter them. And these Satanists have been performing this for a very long time. And it was perfected with Aleister Crowley as he was practicing this as a way of sorcery, as a way of crossing his black magic teachings with this yoga spiritual method of opening the body to allow entities to come into the body. And it's not a coincidence that suddenly after he practiced it and he wrote books on it and the Satanists started doing it, that in the last 10 to 15 years, it has become the fad. It has become the thing to do. Everybody's doing yoga. The media always just will show somebody doing the big, oh, can you believe so-and-so's into yoga? They now they have men doing yoga where they're saying, no, men should be doing yoga. It's actually healthy for your body as a man to do yoga instead of lifting all those weights. So now men do it, women do it, everybody's doing it. And people think it's a giant coincidence that it's just been, all of a sudden this has been discovered as this new form of exercise that can really save you. Think about what they're trying to do. They're leaning you away from scripture. They're allowing you to open your body and open your soul to bring in demonic presences into your body. You're allowing yourself to be in such a meditated state and a vulnerable state where demons can come inside of you and take possession of you. Now, I'm not saying, oh, if I go do yoga, you're going to become demonically possessed. I'm not saying you're instantly going to become demonically possessed. I'm not saying you're going to need an exorcism because I obviously people are performing it and they're walking around in the real world and they're not under demonic spell. At least we hope not. But you are allowing yourself to open yourself to being taken under demonic control and demonic attack. And it is not crazy if you study yoga, you study the roots of it and the origin and the spirituality of it, and you study what Aleister Crowley taught about yoga and what Aleister Crowley taught about black magic and Satanism and human sacrifice and and summoning these demons, which is what he did, okay? He summoned demonic presences. He channeled demonic presences, and he used yoga as a method to summon these demonic presences. The fact that he has a book on it is not good if you're doing yoga and you don't believe what I'm saying. The guy was having sex with children, eating humans, eating animals. Yoga is a practice that is not exercise. It is not physical exercise. Yes, it might feel good to you when you're doing it, like you're getting in shape. This is a spiritual practice, and they are making everybody do it because it is part of the New Age deception that we are now in because the falling away has happened, and now everybody is practicing yoga. Everybody is allowing themselves to become taken under demonic possession. They're allowing these entities to enter them if the entity wants to enter them. And this is going to be all part of this deception that is already, we're already in it for the most part, but this greater deception that's coming where people are going to accept Lucifer as their God. They are going to accept the beast. They're going to be fine with it. And these are going to be practices that are used during this period of time. Things aren't going to change They're going to say, oh, yoga, yeah, I love yoga. Good, good. Practice this yoga. And people are going to become more and more demonically possessed. I mean, this is fact. You can look into the origins of yoga. You can look into, there's many people have written articles on it who who follow, you know, who who follow the traditions of yoga and realize that it's not exercise. Okay, when you do yoga, you're tapping into the demonic realm. And the more positions and the exercises and the techniques that you perform, the more demons you give access to into your life, period. 
If you practice yoga in your life, okay, and you think it's benefited you immensely, and you've not encountered any demonic issues so far, okay, don't jump, jump to a conclusion that it's harmless. Because these demonic entities can linger. They can be around you for a long time and something can trigger them to come out or they know when they can take control when you're at a vulnerable state. But you have to realize that we're in a spiritual war and there is a realm, a spiritual realm. And these demonic entities that they're trying to bring over, you, they use methods like yoga to channel these entities and bring them over because you're le- allowing yourself to almost leave your body when you're in meditation and you're allowing something to come into your body and that is not something that is good okay the bible warns us about things like this in timothy 4:1 now the spirit expressively says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons and that's what yoga is okay you have to realize that these things are to be taken literal we are in the end times Just because it's not wrapped with a bow where they say, hey, you want to practice yoga? We're going to summon demons. Okay? It's part of the deceit. It's part of the deception. They're not going to say, hey, come practice yoga. We're going to put on uh, black clothing, black lipstick, and we're going to channel demons. Then people would say, what? They make it look colorful and fun. Everybody's in spandex and sexy clothes. They get a little mat that they can play with. There we show people doing yoga on the beach or out in front of some beautiful land drop, you know, the mountains or whatever, lakes. They make it look like it's this great healthy thing and everybody's saying how healthy they feel. It is a deception. It is a deception. I'll repeat it. Timothy 4.1. Now the Spirit expressively says that in later times, some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to a deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. What do you think teachings of demons means? If you know the origins of yoga goes back to the teaching of Buddhism and Hinduism, which worship false deities, which worship these demonic deities, then how would you not think that this is something that is a false teaching that is allowing demonic entities and spirits into your life? Because that's exactly what it is. So don't fall for it, okay? And don't fall for this deception. Everything that they push on the television set is not to benefit you. It is to benefit Satan. It is to bring about not only a new world order, not only the ushering of the Antichrist, but it is about bringing your soul over to their side. And when they push agendas like this, you shouldn't even blink. You should say, why? Why are they talking about yoga all of a sudden? Why all of a sudden in 2003 is yoga this new thing? And now in 2016, it's if you're not doing yoga, something's wrong with you. Why do you think that is? Not because they want to make more money and it's a new exercise. Because they're getting everybody spiritually prepared. They're getting everybody to already summon these demonic entities around them. That's how the falling away happens. You start practicing these false things, these false teachings, and you're bringing false entities around you, and you're falling away from the scriptures and falling away from Jesus Christ and believing in this spiritual, universal, new age deception and that everything's grand and everything's wonderful and any negativity you're going to block out of your life. And then you open the Bible and you see how much negativity there is in the world in the end times. And all these people are blocking it out because they're under a deception. So don't fall for this kind of stuff. Do not take practice or partake in yoga exercises. I don't care if you've been doing it your whole life. Find something else to do for exercise. I'm telling you the truth. Look into the origins of yoga. It is a religious practice. And if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, then it's sacrilegious to be participating in it. There's nothing good that's coming of it. Practice, you know, go on a treadmill, go for a walk down your road. Do not allow yourself to fall victim of doing this exercise and summoning these demonic presences around you. Because in the end, it is not going to be good for you to have have practiced this in your lifetime or to allow these things that might be channeled at some point in time that might not have triggered yet to come up inside of you. Because they're there. And when you practice this, you're summoning them. So don't fall for it. Thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you. May peace be with you.